Okay, I wanted this to be quick, and I might put this on my YouTube channel, but this is totally, like, not related to most of the things I talk about on my TikTok. HBO and HBO Max app, they have a show called The Gilded Age. They just ended season one. It was amazing. It's a period piece about the late 1800s, the 1880s. It's historically accurate in many ways. But the characters, the few main characters are not real people. They're just maybe based on people that were kind of around at that time or just, you know, for the story's sake, not real characters. So I have not heard any of the other like podcasts or commentaries say anything about this. And I was waiting for this to come back in season one. But so the first episode, Mr. Race is the lawyer. He tells Marion that her dad's railroad stocks are worthless. And she even questions, well, I thought the railroad industry was really booming right now. It's taking off. And he's like, no, no, these, these stocks are useless. What if he really cashed in those stocks? What if he was crooked from the beginning? He tells her they're not worth anything, then he gets money for the stocks when her dad dies. What if that's what really happened? What if that comes out later? Or, and or, the Russell family... They're railroad tycoons. Mr. Russell's the, like, extraordinaire of the railroad service. What if there's stocks for his company that's, it, it, that is actually booming and it's also tied into the story? No one has mentioned this. No one has mentioned, like, what happened to the stocks. Did he, he didn't hand them back to her when he said they were useless. She, he just said, you don't have anything left from your dad's estate. He owed everybody money. That was it. Then he suddenly shows up in New York. Did he have money to even go to New York? What if he cashed in the stock so he could kind of live for a while and they were worth something and he stole from her? Nobody is talking about this. Like, we already know he's a crooked guy if you watch the whole season. He was not honest with her and he is trying to, like, be a social climber and marry Rich. So I think there's more to that little piece that a lot of people have missed from the first episode. And I think there's a big emphasis on the railroad industry being a big industry at that time. And if you look back in our American history, the railroads was a big business and they were, you know, still going west. So we were still trying to get land in the west in the 1800s. Just a thought.